It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. What do you think? All right, guys, we are back with Legend's next step in the formal retrieving process. If you are just finding this video first, definitely find our playlist. It's going to show all of these videos step by step in order so that you could follow from the beginning and don't miss anything. If this is your first time to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Now we're going to get started with Legend here. He is ready for his next training session. We're going to go pick him up onto the table. We're going to start with a baby refresher, which is, hey, come on. Moving up and down the table, you can see how comfortable he is here. Good job. I'm going to move right into some hold work with this object, which is the first object that we started with. Always do a little refresher. We're working through holding. Stop. Good. We're working through holding here. Incorporate a little bit of movement in your hold session. This is going to help reset their brain. It always seems like dogs' brains are directly attached to their feet. And if you get their feet moving, it's gonna induce new thought processes, which may allow them good to focus or to try and do something that they're maybe not even supposed to. For example, he's doing a great job holding here. We take a couple steps down there and that's just enough different for him and he's moved his feet that now he struggles with holding. So being able to work all the way up and down the table, keep movement involved in your session. And then move up through these. We did some really nice holds with these last time. He seemed to like this one a fair amount. Oh, I, I, I. We're getting a good enough understanding now that we can start to introduce the cue hold. I can expect that he's going to hold it for a second or two. Hold. Good. So you can start to encourage that. Now, don't get hung up, guys, if your hold is not perfect. We want to have a strong enough hold that we'll be able to get through this step into the next, which is going to be holding and walking, that we can get down the table and pretty much back the table, um, back down to this end of the table, pretty easily holding an object. If you've got a good enough understanding to hold that way, then you are ready to move on to your fetch work. But, and fetch will ultimately solidify their understanding of hold. And we'll show you that as we move along. But this one he struggled with a little bit last time, so we'll see. Uh, and we're there again. He's saying, I don't really care for this one as much. Hold. Asking for a little more each time. Good. Hold. Good. Move on to this next one. These are all about the same size. This is kind of like a fire hose style bumper, hold. This one tends to be favorited by a lot of dogs, hold. I think it's really lightweight and it's got a good texture that's pretty easy to, to hold on to them for them. Hold. Good boy. You can tell how calm I'm interacting with him. We want you to be doing the same at home with your dogs. We don't need a big, at the end of that, because you saw how much that perked him up, right? That is not what we're looking for here. The more amped up he is, the more mistakes he's going to make. And then ultimately, the more you have to correct or the more you're going to have to condition. It's going to be better to build good habits and a calm, quiet dog is going to get there faster. And it takes a calm, quiet handler to get the calm, quiet dog. So we're going to move into this one. This is more of a foam style. Um, just get a large collection. Good. Hold. Good. So we work through this. Now we're going to move on to our next size up. And when we get into our next size up, we get all kinds of crazy things starting to happen here. These are going to be the challenging ones. We have a the ever dreaded, always feared, and always worked through brush handle. Right? It's it's <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Um, we have a little scrub brush. We have a larger DT Systems soft mouth trainer. We have this one, which is going to be the biggest around. And that kind of, uh, I believe it's almost four inches across there. It's a solid three, if not almost four. And this is going to be pretty close to the, the largest that the majority of dogs are going to be able to grab. And working through this big object is very important. 
Here we have those three. And then we have a standard, where is it at here? A standard DT Systems canvas bumper. We're gonna use the white one just because. Um, and then we have some other weird ones that fall in the category of different sizes and shapes that we'll incorporate at the end. I don't know if we'll make it there in this session. So having a large collection of fun things to work through is important. We're gonna start easy when it comes to this and he did really well with the canvas bumper. You need to be keeping track of these things in your head or taking a little, um, writing a little journal for your training session so that it can help you remember. But he liked the smaller canvas one. Good, good. So that bigger canvas one was really easy for him. We're gonna to go to the bigger soft mount. He struggled a little bit with the smaller soft mount, so he may struggle with this one a little bit, but we'll help him through it. Ah. Oh, it's a piece of cake. Okay, good. And now this one, I expect to be a struggle. This is very bristly, right? Poke, poke, poke. We're going to use it this way, and then we're gonna turn it around and use it this way. And if he gets through this super easy, We'll move on. If he struggles at all with this, this is going to be the end of this hold session for legend. So we're going to start here with the bristles down. This is going to take some getting used to. Uh, basically keeping it here, not letting him get out of it. He says, I don't like this. Uh, relax. Now let's go ahead and flip it around the other way. And then we're gonna go back. We'll do a couple wraps. That was pretty easy, honestly. Some dogs are gonna throw a huge fit when you work with something like this. No, this is really easy now. Good. Let's go ahead and go back the other way. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, no. Get that back in there as quick as you can and let that roll out. I missed it. I want to try and keep these things in at this stage in the game. Later, we're going to ask for a little better understanding. Give him some, uh -uh. he says, I don't like it on my tongue. Uh -uh -uh. See, it's starting to roll out. Hold. Good. And we'll go back this way one more time. I think that we'll call that it for his session today. Hold. Now, once your dog can do the brush, if you get something similar to this, once they can do this, put it away. We don't need to force this on them. We are trying to utilize it to help them to understand there are a lot of different things, and sometimes it's not gonna always be 100% comfortable. If they grab a bird and there's a spur there, or so, hello, something along that line, that he's had something mildly uncomfortable in his mouth so that he can get used to it. The more that we can prepare them for, the better off they will be down the road. So he did a good job holding this and we will kiss it goodbye, Smalls. We're gonna call that the end of this session for him. Again, we talked about before, we wanna keep these sessions short and ultimately erring on the side of not getting greedy. A lot of times, let me do that, let me do it. Um, a lot of times, if you get greedy, what you're gonna end up doing is putting your training session on this bell curve. The bell curve is gonna look like making progress, making progress. You kind of float in this area and that's at the top of the curve. That's where you need to be quitting because you've made all the progress you possibly can. And if you jump over that and you've gotten greedy, now all you're trying to do is recoup to somewhere that you had accomplished along the way. And you're sliding off that backside. So error on the side of keeping your session just a little shorter, getting some good progress, especially in this introductory. This is all still helping him to get comfortable with the table and helping him to get comfortable with this process. Thanks guys for watching. This is Legend, I'm the guy with the pink gun and we will both see you in his next video. Mm -hmm.